Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to customize your lock screen on iOS 16. This is a new thing that they brought out of the customization of your lock screen because you have so many more options besides just the image. You can now change fonts and colors and have different 3D depth effects kind of thing going on there. So it is an amazing feature. I absolutely love it. So we're gonna be taking a look and seeing how you can get the most out of this. iOS 16 isn't currently out yet. Uh, it's still in beta. I have the public beta on my phone. I have a whole video if you want to install it for yourself. I'll have the link in the app top. So it's not out yet, um, but it is in beta. Like I said, it's still buggy, it's still glitchy. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just share with you guys if you're curious how to set this up. Cause I was kind of confused at first about how the whole lock screen thing works because if you change your lock screen it also changes your home screen um, and that kind of just threw me off and how that all worked together um, but yeah that's what I'm going to be covering today's video to help you guys out but okay screen recording is going to come in now and then I'll show you guys how this works and how you could basically set this up so for my lock screen here I'm going to swipe down and then you have you can see your lock screen here you can see I have an image of me and my fiance um, so this is what it looks like as you can see it has that kind of 3d depth effect Effect where it looks like the times nudged between the background and your subject um, so you can have that for multiple wallpapers so um, this is the io 16 wallpaper that they released and it also has that cool effect um, and what you need to note firsthand um, is that if you have a wallpaper that works with this so if you have something that's a subject that can kind of overlay your time you have to decide if you want that effect or if you want widgets because you can not have both. So if you'll see, if I hold down on my home screen or my lock screen, I mean, hold down and then it gives you the option to edit. Um, so, oh, I forgot to mention, you can now have multiple lock screens as you can see here. Um, so like your watches, you can easily switch between watch faces. This works exactly the same. So you just hold down on your phone then you can easily switch between um, your different lock screens. So yeah, for instance, if I wanna add um, and customize this one, I'm just gonna click on customize here. If I add a widget, so let's just put the battery there, it automatically takes away that kind of depth effect because you have selected this. Um, so you can easily do that, but then you're losing that effect. So just do note that you have to decide between widgets or that effect, you can have both. But now I wanna show you guys how to add a new lock screen. So I'm gonna do it from here. You can also go from settings, go to wallpaper and then change it. I just feel like this is sometimes a bit more confusing because you have multiple ones and you can't just see them all in one place. So I feel like it's just easier to just go ahead and um, do it from the swipe down menu. It's just easier because you see everything there and you still have all the same capabilities. So that's why I'm doing it from here, but you can choose whichever one you want. So like I mentioned, when you change your lock screen, you're also changing your home screen. So it's grouped together. Each lock screen has an accompanying home screen. So for each lock screen, you can set a different home screen. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all of that. So we're gonna click on this plus button here to add a new wallpaper. Um, and here you can see they have a few that they choose for you that you can just choose from. So first off we have featured. So I'm guessing these are the more famous ones that people usually use. So we have featured, then they have suggested photos with photos in your photo roll that you can just go ahead and choose. As you can see, they have quite a few of my sister's daughter just because I have a lot of photos of her. Um, but yeah, that's that. Then we have photo shuffle, which is shuffled through a bunch of photos in your photo library. Um, then you have weather and astronomy that you can choose. The weather one is actually pretty cool because it's kind of animated. So it just goes with the type of weather that you're having that day. The astronomy one is also really cool and I know it has a cool little animation that plays when you unlock your phone. Um, so yeah, this is what this one looks like. Um, you can also choose between a bunch of them, but I'm just going to get in that a little later. Um, here you have default emoji ones that they already made for you with different types of emojis. Then you have collections, so UI 16, Pry, Unity, Stripes, Dynamic, Clownfish. So you can go ahead and through those collections and choose one there, or you can go to color. Um, with a bunch of different types. So these are just ones that you can quickly choose and then you're good to go, but you can also go ahead and make your own. So um, you can either go to photos and then choose a photo from your photo library, which we're gonna get to in a minute. Then you can choose people and then it'll show a bunch of people that you have in your camera roll. Again, it's just with my sister's daughter, I guess. Um, but yeah, people, they can also choose from photo shuffle. 
is you can choose different photos um, and then you can choose how often it shuffles between those photos and things like that. Then the emoji section is where you create your own emoji um, or emoji, sorry, um, wallpaper. So like I mentioned, they have some default ones that you can choose from or you can make your own. So if I want to make one with a bunch of fun snacks, so let's go chocolate, uh, cupcakes, donuts, let's just go with that for now. Um, not very pretty, but yeah, you get the gist. Then it automatically arranges it for you in your wallpaper um, set up. What you can then do is you can go ahead and swipe between different layouts. So each one has different look to it. You have spiral, rings, large grid, medium grid, small grid, and then yeah, that's basically it. Um, and then what you can also do is if you want to change it, you can just go ahead and click on the emoji icon here and change it to whatever you want. And then you can also click on these three dots here to change the background color. So if you don't want that color, you can go ahead here and choose a background color that more suited to your aesthetic. And once you're happy with that, you're basically good to go. So that's how you create your own emoji wallpaper. Then you have again, the weather one that I previously showed you guys that basically is animated for the weather in your location. Then you have astronomy. So here we have different variations. So it does show you exactly where you are. So I'm in South Africa. Um, then you can also just swipe to different ones. So this is earth detail, swipe again, you have moon, moon detail. Then you have um, solar system. So you can choose whichever one you want. Um, but yeah, these have some cool animations. I know with face ID, when you unlock your phone, um, if you have it set to your lock screen and your home screen, it does this kind of cool animation. But yeah, so that is the astronomy wallpapers. And then we have color here. So here you can just choose a color that you want. So if I have this color set, then you can go ahead and choose the different styles that you want for this color. So it's defaulted on bright, but then again, you just swipe through them. You have vapor here, you have deep, you have tone, you have vibrant, and then here at the end, you have solid. So if you don't want it to look like a gradient or something like this one does, um, you can just set to solid. And then again, you can also customize your text and everything. Um, so how you do that, let's get to those you have three things that you can change here. You have the top line of text, which you can change to different things. They have a few things here you can choose from. Um, so I can maybe choose it to weather conditions. So then it gives you the date and also the weather conditions. So how many degrees it is or whatever. Um, then you can change the time layout. So you tap on that and you can change the font and the color of um, whatever you want. So they have different fonts here you can choose from. They also have different um, variations of time. So you have Arabic, um, Arabic, what is it? Indic, and then Divanagari. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering this, um, but yeah, that is what the different types look like. And then you also have your set of colors that you can choose from. You can even go here and choose just um, one that you want more specifically, but yeah, you can go through here and just go and change the color of your text. I usually just set it to this one. So this one changes based on the color of your home screen. So usually I just set it to that, but you can do whatever you want. So that is how that works. And then lastly, you have your widgets. Like I mentioned, widgets are, um, when you don't want that 3D effect, you can add widgets. So it's really easy to set up. You can just drag it in um, different widgets that you have. They have quite a few that you can choose from. I'm just gonna go with those, or you can just remove it and then add something else. So if I want just this, you also have different variations of like the batteries. They have two different types for a calendar, also two different types if you want a bigger one or a smaller one, home as well. So yeah, you can go ahead and just scroll through all those widgets and add them to your um, desired slot. So that is how you add widgets and how you change your home screen. Um, you just choose one of these wallpapers that they give you or choose one from your photo library. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly create a wallpaper that I want and then I'll get back to you guys. So this is one that I just created real quick. So it has just the wallpaper with time and widgets and everything. Um, so now what I can also do is when you have your wallpaper selected, you can again swipe through different colors. Um, so this is natural, then it gets a black and white, duotone and color wash. I gotta say the black and white does not look bad with this image, but I'm just gonna go with natural for now. Um, then when you have that selected, you can also go ahead and choose 
different um, effects here. So you can turn on or off perspective zoom. So perspective zoom, if you don't know what that is, is if you tilt your phone, it will tilt the wallpaper with it. Um, so you can turn that off or on or the depth effect if you have that turned on, which we don't have that turned on really right now. Um, and then we have um, just this option here if you just wanna change the image again. And then it also says pinch to crop. So you can go ahead and just reposition it and size it however you want it to look. Um, so yeah, this is what mine looks like right now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on done and then it's gonna bring up this option. So it's gonna say set as wallpaper pair or you can select customize home screen. So set as wallpaper pair will take this image that you just set as your lock screen and just blur it and set it as your home screen. Um, so you can do that, but I'm just gonna choose my own home screen wallpaper that I want. So I'm gonna select customize home screen. I love that from this section, from the drop down menu, you can immediately do this. And from the settings app, you have to change the lock screen and then change the home screen. So I prefer this way. This is why I started it this way. Um, but anyway, so here you can see, now we can change our home screen. So first option you have here is your lock screen photo. You can turn leg legibility blur on or off, or you can go ahead and go here to color and then choose a color that you want. And this one has a gradient, so it's a bit darker at the top, lighter at the bottom. Or you can choose this option here, which is just a solid color. Um, it doesn't have a gradient, so you can choose that. Or you can go ahead and click here, which is an image. So then you can choose an image from your um, photo library and then just choose that and set that as your home screen. So I'm gonna do that. I like to have my home screen for each lock screen the same, um, just because of some widgets that I have that make it complicated to have different home screens. I'll show you guys a bit later. Um, but don't worry about that right now, just choose whatever photo you want for your home screen. Um, so this is the one I'm gonna choose. Again, you can swipe through for different colors, um, different filters. You can also go here again and turn off or on perspective zoom and depth effect. And again, you have the option to change the image. And then I'm gonna click on done and done. So now you can see I have my home screen set with this lock screen. Now, the reason I always have the same home screen is I'm gonna quickly show you guys. If I were to add a new wallpaper, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose one of the default ones that they have here, the iOS 16 one, click on done, and set as wallpaper pair. Now, the reason for this is because, as you can see, this doesn't work with my Clear Spaces widgets. If you don't know what Clear Spaces is, it's a cool app that makes your widgets look transparent. I'll have a whole video on that. I'll link that in the IA top for you guys to check out. But that's the main reason. So all my home screens have the same wallpaper just for the sake because this does not look good. Um, so yeah, that's the only reason that I don't change my home screens to different home screens for each lock screen. Um, but you can do whatever you want. If you don't have this pane, you're good to go. Um, but yeah, this is just my little issue. So that is why I always set it to look the same. So you'll see every single lock screen that I have here, wait, we're gonna get to that one a bit later, um, has the same wallpaper on it. Now what I wanna cover is how to link focuses to your lock screen. So we just covered how to add a lock screen, that you can switch between different lock screens. By the way, if you wanna delete a lock screen, you can just go ahead and swipe up and click delete, delete, then that is deleted. Um, so it's really as easy as that. But now I wanna cover how to set a focus to a certain lock screen. So if you don't know what focus is, I've done a whole a bunch of videos on this. If you've watched my channel before, you know I love focus. It's like one of my favorite features on iPhone. Um, so what this does is it sets your phone and changes your phone's home screen to according to which focus you've set it to. So for instance, I'm gonna change my focus by going to the control center, clicking on focus. I'm gonna change it to, let's say productivity. And then this is what it looks like. Um, it changes my entire home screen. I don't no longer have access to my previous home screen that I had because now it took that away and only set this as my home screen. So that is focus. It changes your entire layout um, that you can um, change and whatever according to whichever focus you're on. I absolutely love this. Like I said, I have a whole video description discussing focus and how to use that if you want to check that out because um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this. But now with the new lock screen feature, you can now link a focus to a certain lock screen. Um, so now what I've done, for instance, this focus here, 
I linked to re my reading focus. You can do this with any focus. I can just click on this wallpaper, click on the link focus option that's here and choose which focus I want to link it to. Um, so I can do that with any lock screen that I have. So like I said, I set this one to reading. I changed the lock screen so it looks more like a reading mode. Um, and now if I go to my home screen, I changed the home screen as well, the wallpaper. This is the only wallpaper that's different from all my others because I don't have that clear spaces widgets on it. Um, it doesn't look too great. I just did it for the sake of this video, to be honest. But this is what it looks like. So now I have just this look for just that one focus. So you'll see now um, if I go ahead and go to focus here and turn off reading, it'll just go back to my main um, folk, my main home screen. But again, if I change my focus back to reading, it'll change my home screen and also change the lock screen, which is really convenient, I think. I was actually wondering if this feature was gonna be released when Focus first came out. I was wondering, can't you just change your wallpaper as well? Because it changes all your widgets and apps um, so it can easily change your wallpaper as well, which it now can. So I absolutely love this feature. That's how you set up Focus. You just go ahead, go to your desired home screen, click on the link Focus button and choose which focus you want to link to that wallpaper. Super easy and super convenient. By the way, I have a whole video on how to customize icons on iOS 16 as well. If you want to spice up your home screen even more with custom icons, I absolutely love doing this. So I'll have that video linked in the cards up top as well for you guys to check out. Um, so you can easily do that as well. So yeah, that was my video on how to customize your phone's home screen and lock screen on iOS 16. Like I said, this did kind of bowl me out at first when I got the update just because I didn't get how the pairs worked, the lock screen and home screen pairs. I do wish they may have maybe could put like a toggle that allows you to just set one home screen and then just change the lock screen. I don't know. It's just probably me, but just because of those clear spaces widgets, it's a bit more complicated. Hopefully clear spaces brings out an um, update so that it's supported for iOS 16. But anyway, that was my video on iOS 16's lock screen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, really helps me out a lot. And definitely comment down below if you have any questions or if you're still not getting something that I can help you guys out. Click on the profile icon on the screen to subscribe. Click on the playlist to see all of my other customization related videos like this. And click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.